This is the dream team. Look at you two. <laughs> Look, you know what's so amazing is just how happy you are oh. in her presence. It's so beautiful. Yeah, you just make everything better. Oh, yeah. You guys. Why was this the perfect film to work on together? Because she said so. <laughs> <laughs> is that the answer also the secret to your marriage? <laughs> no, we're, we, there's a lot more give and take. I don't know, it turns out it was a, it was a good instinct you had, sweetheart. Aww. Well, it was, it was fun to, to pick something that our kids could see. Because yeah. even though he's let our son see the Marvel movies, even though... Probably, certain of them, yeah. Certain, certain ones, okay. yeah. Uh, you know, they weren't able to see any of the movies that we'd worked on. And so it was really fun to do something that... I think there was a degree of difficulty too that I was excited about with all the visual effects and like creating worlds and all that kind of stuff that even with something like Sherlock we didn't get to do. Yep. Um, and uh, so there were just, there were a lot of reasons that it was a good choice. Yeah, and yeah. it is a magical film for kids. I know kids are always the toughest critics too and quite honest, so what did they think? <laughs> they were very happy. Yes, good. Yeah, they were very happy. And I think this will be the first time we bring our kids to a premiere, correct? Uh, yes. That's ours. Oh, wow. Yes. And that's no, that, that ever. They haven't been to one. Oh, wow. oh good. Period. That's really yeah. big. Did they, did they give you instant feedback? Did they straight away tell you what they think? Well, they did after this, because, you yeah. know, with kids, they just want to see it again. Oh. And that's always a good sign. So, that's right. um, but Exton in particular liked it, although he's been behind the scenes looking at every bit of marketing and stuff. Mm -hmm. And, you know, with kids, you can't always read them, because you'll, like, show them something. And sometimes they don't always tell you something right away. And then later that afternoon, they'll be like, I really liked when Yoshi was saying, blah, blah. you know, and you're just like, wow, he actually paid attention, remembered the name, the whole thing. So, yeah, they're a good little, like, test group. Yeah, that must feel extra special. Robert, for you, why did you, why did you want to be Doolittle? What do you like about him? I, I always go, like, why, why this movie? Why now? Mm. Why, why bother? And then I honestly, I looked out the window and these alpacas are looking at me and our goats <laughs> and our Oreo cows and our, uh, you know, Please. we the pigs, the Cooney Cooney pigs. You have Cooney Cooney pigs? We yeah. do. Oh, they're so cute. They're amazing. They're massive. <laughs> yes. Or it just felt kind of synchronistic, you know? Yeah. And also, you know, we don't like going too long without having a extremely difficult project to do together, <laughs> whether it's a movie or a kid or a trying house to, or uh, yeah, or figuring out, you know, how to have date night or whatever. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> it wound up being a really kind of nice vibe, very arduous, a very long process. We learned a lot yeah. and uh, and it's so nice now because I always, all I care about is when people see it, that they like it. And so today is the first day and now we're starting to promote it. People are like, yeah, we're seeing it, we're liking it. We're like, yeah, because <laughs> we just want to be, you know, proud parents. Of course, well, you should be. And I didn't realize you had so many animals. So aside from the pigs, the you have alpacas. Yep. Yeah. What else? We have two pigs, four alpacas, four goats, two cows, thirty chickens, <laughs> two cats, and a bunny. And a bunny. Well, we actually have a lot of bunnies, but there's one that there's is. There's only one. There's that, one that's that, in a hutch. Yeah. There's only the one we're claiming. The, the rest roaming. are free roaming. Yes. What? So you are Doolittle, basically. Well. <laughs> Do you talk to them? I mean, I think the we cats. all my think next we're talking to our animals. Yeah. Like, well, I came in the kitchen this morning. She goes, look who's here. And I looked over my shoulder. Okay. And our cat, Dart, was just sitting there looking at me longingly. And I was like, what's up, buddy? And then he looked away. Like, I was, I just happened to be looking at you. I don't have something. <laughs> Maybe you wanted a snack. They always want a snack. Okay. Yeah. No, Monty yells at me every morning. Uh, that's our other cat. He yells at me because I, like, haven't gotten up soon enough or, like, I'm I don't sorry. know. I'm my, sorry. My, uh, my washing machine <laughs> is on the blank. What is going on? <laughs> it was amazing. Yeah. I did not realize you had so many animals. And so yeah. you, and you do talk to animals. I feel like everybody. We all want to believe right. we can talk to animals. I mean, look, yeah. they have emotions. We just got this, um, this rescue uh, goat mm -hmm. um, named Flash. And I swear Flash is, like, a human or a dog or something. I mean, it's not like we had the three other. The rest said he's the dog of goats. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. When she walks over, he's got like a smile on his face. You talk to him yeah. and like, I don't know, it's great. Come he's on. created quite a he's stir so... with the other three with cutie yeah. boots and uh, trigger, trigger and memo. memo. Yeah, the whole the there's whole a hierarchy status. kind of thing that's going on, but they'll figure it out. We're managing it. Your We're house trying. sounds so fun. I mean, your kids are so <laughs> lucky. Seriously, what a life! It's so good. Now there are so many rumors still out there. Um, fan theories, people want to see Iron Man come back. Could it ever happen? 
Yeah, anything could happen. Uh, I'm really enjoying. Oh my God, what a headline that little comment's gonna be. <laughs> <laughs> she knows. She knows how this goes. As far as I'm concerned, I, I hung up my guns and uh, and I'm good to to let it go. Okay. I also think that Marvel is on this journey now of they're trying a bunch of other stuff, and it mm. lets you know I'm excited for them to see how all that goes. And it, it's hard to it's hard to project. Yeah. But you know we got a bunch of other stuff we want to yeah, do. You yeah, you got Perry Mason, yep. right? You got yep. the AI series on YouTube. That is yeah. true. It looks so cool. Yeah. Do you both have a fascination with AI? I would call it a curiosity okay. more than anything. It's uh, it's so prevalent in ways that like I certainly didn't know before the series, mm -hmm. um, and we started exploring all the different I areas. I hosted it, but she's the one who actually learned all about it. <laughs> <laughs> And it's just like, so she's uh, the brains. Yes, I was like, I was like the journalist out in front. Like, yeah, guess what? Someone's about to learn something. <laughs> you did a great job. But uh, very cool. Yeah, it was. It's always nice, you know. They say if you want to learn about something, then go get out in front of it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So. We'll try and tell a story about it, which is what the series is trying to do. It's trying to get in and sort of take a, a human look at the way mm -hmm. that it's affecting us in all these different. Uh, elements and it's it's still really young, you know. Mm -hmm. it, it's it's going to be evolving, but it was fun to dip in and see uh, all different aspects of our lives that are being affected. And these great companies trying to really do something better in our world with AI. That's the focus that we had. The angle. I know there's a lot of doom and gloom things, but the purpose of the series was to to look at where is it actually helping us. Oh, I love that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You guys have done. I, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think ten films together. Around ten films at this point. I think it's like. Eight or nine. Okay. Which is close to ten. Co almost ten films yeah. together. <laughs> most people wouldn't make it through one film together if they were married. Right. Yeah. So how? What is the secret? I think it helps that we <laughs> met making a movie. Okay. And then we were engaged and, you know, young love. Well, she was young anyway. <laughs> um, shooting all nights for this movie, Kiss Kiss Bang Bang. And then it's just always been our, our kind of gypsy, circusy lifestyle. Yeah. And now we have all the, the domesticity, so now it's a, it's a little bit more like, it's not a distraction, but it's like we get to get out of the house if we have a reason to go somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's yeah. true. Yeah. I also think there's just a respect that we have for each other and what yeah. we bring, because right. we're not doing the same thing. You know, I, I don't, I'm not Certainly in front of the aren't. camera. and. Right. No, nope. she's watching the monitors and telling me when I suck. <laughs> no, just when is you... that how she says it? Does she actually say you suck? No, she'll really? be like that. Like you know, she'll be like, take the take the gum out of your mouth, <laughs> Mr. Professional. Yeah, he is, He never sucks. I it's like just it. whether he has his nickerette in his mouth or not. That's the only thing that Did really they pisses me off. Remove it. <laughs> digitally you can't. remove you can't. it. You can't. They didn't have nickerette in the 1800s. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I went through some old interviews, and I loved when I first read this because a lot of my friends who were married said when they met their partner, they knew. And in an interview I read, you said, possibly, you said that yeah. when you first met Robert, that you thought he was maybe a little bit strange. Like it wasn't an instant thing. Is he, that true? He is a little bit strange. <laughs> that hasn't changed. Strange and I was so much hotter than all your other boyfriends. <laughs> That's exactly what she meant. That's such a dude response. <laughs> no, I mean, he's a weird. I he's, not even he's, felt like an idiot saying it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he's, but there is no one in the world like Robert, which is great. But you I would see that about you know, any of us. No, but it's it's a little different with You're you. You're very unique. You're very unique, right, and you got right. this amazing energy and all these wonderful things. I'm looking right down the barrel. Now. I know, I know. I actually didn't even think he was that cute until about like, I don't know, like two thirds of the way through the movie we were doing, when and we, one day I was like. Oh, he's actually. Was it when I dressed up and we went out to dinner in Montreal? Yeah. Was that your first date? No, because I was still oh. producing the movie, but it was. I was like, should we wait for you know this trainer that he was using that we'd always hang out with? He'd be Harley like, Harley Pasternak. No, oh, he's great. You know, and I was like, oh, okay. Yeah, it's not a three top. <laughs> this is a date. We were just on slightly different pages at that point, oh, yeah. but you know, okay, that's okay. Um, we have a quick rapid fire uh, couples quiz for you, Susan. Do yeah. you remember your first date? Well, it's, again, it's fuzzy. It's fuzzy. Yeah, it's gray. Okay. Do you remember what the first date was? Yeah, it's what I just said it was. <laughs> <laughs> Clear as a bell. Okay. All right. What is Robert's cheat food or guilty pleasure? Oh my God. Well, pizza with car with uh, like pasta carbonara on top would be his ideal thing. But at night he sneaks down and has almond butter because he's an actor and has to look nice no, for I the don't. camera. <laughs> There's two things I can't go without: coffee, coffee, and you guessed That's it. Coffee. Okay, that's not guilt. That's not a guilty pleasure, though. Really, what about Susan? Does she have a cheat food or a guilty pleasure? Caviar. Oh, that's a fancy one. She's bougie. It's awful though, because like I'm vegan who has caviar. That's like the worst. It's fine. It's balanced. You need yeah, a little balance it makes in your it life. A true cheat. <laughs> what about um, Robert's favorite TV show to binge? 
Does he have a binge? Oh, he's good with binging. He actually has the time to do it. He, uh, The Crown. Ooh. But we also, we did... Um, we did Morning Show and we morning dug it. Morning Show. So Although we couldn't binge it because it, we had to wait. I know. Which was which was frustrating. We binged that. Not like your caviar binges. <laughs> <laughs> it's disgusting. Can you really binge on caviar? Like, no, how much can I you eat? Sound like an yeah, it's, it's <laughs> she is so idea. measured and so disciplined. It doesn't even make sense that you would eat caviar. No, but we just came off Maybe the holidays. Maybe you're the strange one. <laughs> For sure, I'm with you. <laughs> you guys are amazing, seriously. I oh. want to hang out with you all day, but you're busy, so there's that. Congratulations on this. Can't wait to see Perry Mason yeah. and oh, everything Oh yeah, that turned doing. out great. Yep. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you want more extra, hit the subscribe button and the bell so you'll never miss a video.